Hey guys, Max the Game Boy here, and finally, four years later, the Cuphead DLC has released. And is it worth it? Short answer, absolutely. Cuphead is one of those games that just takes time, and it delivers with quality in a 1930s art style that has won so many people over. And although it took a while, the delicious last course has beautiful music sung and performed by incredible artists, plenty of charm we've come to expect from Cuphead, visuals that are pure eye candy, and gameplay that's delightfully frustrating and fun. So without further ado, let's get into all the reasons why the Cuphead DLC was well worth the wait. The premise of Cuphead the Delicious Last Course is simple, yet sticks to the story that's always been the main Cuphead theme. Fun and simple with a pinch of sinister creepiness. For the original Cuphead story, we had Cuphead and Mugman collecting souls for the devil to avoid becoming literal pawns of the devil, and in the DLC, the duo travel to Inquil Isle 4 and help Miss Chalice and Chef Saltbaker make the Wonder Tart, so that Miss Chalice can be freed from the astral plane, she's a ghost man, and have a physical form. Of course, it turns out that Saltbaker's a cunning sociopath who tries to use the Wonder Tart to become Lord of the Astral Plane, and hey, it was a solid and spooky plot twist that would have been great if literally everyone wasn't beating the game in a day and spoiling it with YouTube thumbnails. No, no. Either way, the ideas and story are sticking with that Cuphead style. And this is a pretty hefty DLC as well. Six new bosses, new charms, and one that allows you to play as Miss Chalice, and new weapons. Not to mention the King's Leap, which has five new bosses where you use parries and parries only to defeat enemies, which adds like 11 bosses in all. They're often pretty challenging and will definitely take time to defeat. And apparently there are a bunch of secret quests and whatnot, a secret boss or two that I didn't even know about until YouTube threw it in my face, so to say it's worth the $8 price tag is the understatement of this century. There's plenty to do and exploring a whole new Inkwell Isle is a ton of fun. There are new NPCs and characters, and getting to see more of Miss Chalice was really awesome, and playing as her is a fun spin on Cuphead combat, and can be incredibly useful if you use her unique abilities and extra health sparingly and at the right moments. And the new bosses are just as creative, wacky, and difficult as the classic Cuphead bosses. There isn't a single one I dislike, as in a single one I don't love. And trying the new weapons, new charms, old weapons and charms, and Miss Chalice on them is fun and experimental. And the new weapons and charms as well as new character allow for going back to the main game and replaying old bosses in exciting new ways. So there is tons of replayability. And as previously mentioned, the music is top notch in Cuphead. Entire bands made this music possible and the DLC's tunes are just as good if not better quality than the original game's soundtrack. It's pretty freaking hard to make this 1930s vibe kind of soundtrack and also make it insanely catchy and memorable. But Studio MDHR did all that and more. When you give a company enough time, they can make incredible things. Cuphead fans are some of the most patient in the gaming industry, because Cuphead's old-fashioned graphics and incredible quality take a long time, especially for a smaller video game company like MDHR. But we can't ever complain because they deliver always. If a movie director takes four years to make a movie, you see it and it's incredible, can you complain? Cuphead is a game with a very slim amount of flaws. Well, unless you aren't a fan of the difficulty, but in my opinion, hard games are fun games. So yeah, the Cuphead DLC is like a four year aged cheese. What? It took a bit to get there, but it's beyond worth it. And I finished it within a week. As much as I'd like to wait four years for more Cuphead content, it's called the Delicious Last Course for a reason. Cuphead's finally complete, and time and patience did not disappoint us. Thanks for watching everyone, and go enjoy Cuphead for yourself.